So I'm going to go down and grab a bucket of water for our water sample today. It's seawater. Tide's coming up a little bit. So after I get my bucket, I'm going to take it up here to high tide. So what I have my citizen samplers do is take their samples once a week at the same time in the same spot, ideally. And with a clean, fresh bottle, what you want to do is you want to rinse it out three times. And that's to remove any impurities that might still be in the bottle from manufacturing or from cleaning it. So I'm just going to take a little bit of water and dump it. That's my rinse water. I don't want that to be go going into my sample. There's two. Do it one more time. That does two things. It wets the surface of the glass so that it can receive water without causing any bubbles. Bubbles are um, not Bubbles are our enemy in this water sampling trick. So once the sample has been taken, the bottle has been full, filled, then we want to go ahead and take its temperature. And so we'll just stick that in there and wait for it to stabilize. So it's now stabilized. Looks like it's about 8.1. So I'll note that on my log sheet here along with the date and the bottle number. And then I'll cap my bottle after I fix it with one drop of fixative from my dropper bottle. And then I place a fresh cap on the bottle. And this isn't we usually do this in the lab, so it's kind of so with a firm push down and the the bottle is now capped. So then we'll go ahead and invert it to mix the fixative. And now this um, seawater sample is shelf stable um, until I can analyze it in the lab.